This video is dedicated to Mrs. Mulligan and her Period 1 AP Biology class. Narration by Lily the Elephant Hello guys, before we go into the specifics about cells, let me introduce you to the modern cell theory. It states that first, all living things are composed of cells. The second part of the theory states that cells are the basic unit of all organisms. The third part of the theory, and the last part of the theory, states that all cells arise from pre-existing cells. Now let me introduce you to myself a little bit. My name is Lily the Elephant. You see, I'm an animal just as you are, made up of millions and millions of cells. Let's take a closer look at what I mean. As you can see here, my body is composed of many cells, although in reality they may not have smiley faces. That's just a personal touch of mine. If we look closer into a cell, we can see that it is made up of different organelles bounded by a plasma membrane. There's the nucleus, the endoplasmic reticulum, the rough, which is continuous with the nucleus, and the smooth. Some free ribosomes, the Golgi apparatus, peroxisomes, the mitochondria, lysosomes, and the centrioles. The plasma membrane is made up of a phospholipid bilayer. The properties of phospholipids make it so that the outer region is hydrophilic and the inner region is hydrophobic. Included in the plasma membrane are a variety of proteins such as channel proteins that help facilitate the movement of molecules, proteins that act as active pumps by using ATP such as a sodium potassium pump, and also glycoproteins that help with cell to cell recognition. The nucleus contains the genetic hereditary material, and it is where ribosomes are synthesized, DNA is replicated, and protein is coded. The endoplasmic reticulum is a membranous system of channels and flattened sacs. The rough ER is the site of protein synthesis and is studded with ribosomes. The smooth ER assists in the synthesis of steroid hormones and other lipids. It connects the rough ER to the Golgi apparatus and helps with detoxification. The Golgi apparatus is also an organelle made up of flattened membranous sacs. It packages substances produced in the rough ER and secretes them to other cell parts or the cell membrane where it will leave the cell. Peroxisomes contain catalase, which converts H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide, a waste product of cellular respiration, into H2O or water. They also help detoxify alcohol in liver cells. Mitochondria has a double membrane, its own DNA, and cristae that surrounds the central matrix region. It is a key organelle in cellular respiration which produces ATP, or energy, for the body. Centrosomes are made up of microtubules placed in a 9 by 3 ring structure. They organize spindle fibers during cellular division such as meiosis and mitosis. Isosomes are sacs of hydrolytic enzymes that help break down foreign molecules. It continuously renews the cell through intracellular digestion and apoptosis. I hope you've enjoyed learning about cellular organelles and their functions. Join me next time as we explore other biology topics. See you next time!